Hey everyone, it's me, Steph. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I, I guess I'm starting a vlog. Sometimes I come on here and do this and record and kind of check in and then that clip never sees the light of day uh, and I don't continue on with any video. It's been a few weeks, it's been over a few weeks. Might even be a month before you're seeing this, if you do see this. It's the last day of the girls' winter break. They have two weeks off, just like how it usually is in the States. It always was for me. It was for them. Pretty chilled break. I actually did a little bit of binge watching Below Deck myself. Today, Molly was supposed to have a birthday party and I really felt like I was so happy for her because Kiva had a sleepover, which Molly does kind of have fun when Kiva's friends come over too, but still it's not the same. It's, it was like Kiva's friend, even though Kiva is like, and her friend are so good about like including Molly and they all get along and stuff so so that was nice and then gary took kiva and two of her friends to like this um wit big winter carnival that they do um here in ireland well in the like it's i don't know i think it's in dublin or more near to town anyways thunderland i'm sure if you know if you're from here you've at least probably heard of it and, and like molly could have went to that but like long story short we didn't know how many rides she we didn't think she'd want to do a lot of rides and we didn't want it to like hold back kiva and her friends because it's now kind of becoming a little tradition anyways so i felt like molly was overdue to kind of have something on her schedule and i looked at the time wrong on the invitation and i was thinking that the birthday started the birthday started the birthday party started when it was actually ending it had 10 30 to 12 15 and i just saw 12 15 and i, I guess i didn't even obviously didn't notice 10 30 and i just saw 10 12.15, I was sitting there on the couch. It was 10.40. I'm like, oh, let me just double check. It's 12.15 and not, I don't know, 12 or 12.30 or something. That's when I noticed I felt so bad. Molly was kind of sad, but I think she's okay overall. So yeah, so pretty chill break. Like we, did, we didn't really do anything. We didn't have a lot of plans. Gary's dad came over on Christmas day, which was really nice. And Gary actually brought some food home from work. Cause uh, if you don't know, yeah, Gary works in the restaurant industry. So he brought home like yeah, turkey, ham, mashed potatoes, vegetables, gravy and stuff on Christmas Eve. And then we heated it up on Christmas day. So it was kind of really nice. I didn't have to cook. And it was just us, me, him, Mary, me, Gary, the, the girls and his dad. The next day we saw some of Gary's siblings and their kids, but that was really brief. So I don't know, it felt like a really low, low key Christmas, which is nice. Not that Christmas is like ever crazy, but it, it can be busy and you can be like rushing around to see a lot of people, but I kind of like that. But I'm glad that we got to spend time with obviously who we did. So that was nice for, you know, obviously um, for me, you know, Christmas is a little bit hard not being by my family. I miss that. Maybe especially my mom's side of the family. Just because, I, you know, I did, luckily I, I just got to see my dad and it was almost kind of like we had a little, our little Christmas then in November, but it didn't really feel quite the same for my mom, even though I saw my mom and things went went well, all things considered, so that was good. I talked to my, on my videos as if everybody knows kind of like the whole story. Cause I do think most people that watch my videos are like returning viewers. So hopefully, you know what I'm talking about when I bring certain things up but our move over here was really 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 hard on my mom and then hard on our relationship so seeing her for the first time since we moved in november i think went pretty good all things considered but since being back we've texted a little bit and i think because we finally got to see each other well, the situation's not necessarily perfect and i'm not saying she's just completely healed her hurt and moved on but i guess even just some of the text exchanges have just felt more so like i don't know kind of normal or how they were and that's good but it's it almost like that i don't know that it makes me sad in a different way so i think since being home in no in november i guess it's normal and to be expected it's just made me miss home more than usual and also i just i guess i'm just here to check in i don't know I don't know why I'm always over explaining myself or what I share. I just definitely never, I'm really worried about coming across as um, complaining or being ungrateful. And I think especially with all that's going on in the world right now, although there's always something going on, there's always some amount of suffering and unfairness. So I'm scared to share sometimes my feelings. So I think maybe that's why I like refrain from coming on too. Cause if, if, if I'm just in my own little space where I, I'm, I'm an open, open book, I hope I'm making and I don't mind sharing, but if what I have to share is, I don't know, any little bit heavy or like if it could come across as like, I don't know, me whining or, or sad or negative, then I just like, I don't know, 
I don't mind sharing, but I get scared too because other people have it so much worse. I really, really am so incredibly grateful for my blessings and my life. I guess what I'm trying to say, maybe being in Ireland feels um, just a little bit different lately. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'm a little bit more homesick than normal, just to put it simply, I suppose. But there's always going to be ups and downs. Like, that's normal. Like, I'm my, my friends and family are in the States. Like I'm always gonna miss them. I can name off like a bunch of little things too that like all might seem little but kind of add up, but I, I won't do that. But I suppose just like one other thing I guess I kind of wanted to say cause I've kind of been feeling this way. It's just an honest part of our journey. I'm just trying to put it simply just so that stop talking up a storm, but I think so truly the main reason that we chose to move to Ireland, at least top of, top of the priority list was our kids. Like as, as a lot of times you do as a parent, you put your kids first and we felt like the opportunity to have them grow up here and feel a little bit safer and that their their upbringing, their well-being could be improved. Maybe not even things like not growing up quite as fast over here, like kids being kids like a little bit longer. Especially I've been seeing some TikToks lately about about like 10 year olds wanting drunk elephant and I'm not picking on anybody but like little things like that like them still being into toys or dolls anyways it is what it is like the world we the world changes things change well I'm not trying but okay but yeah safety well-being overall uh, an improved way of life for the kids and, and, and the kids are very happy and you know that makes us happy of course <laughs> and things are going you know they're doing well what I'm trying to say is um I had hoped that like the way of life and maybe our lifestyle as Gar Gary and I, um, just as a couple, as parents, you know, maybe it would be slightly improved for us. Maybe even like a little bit better of a work-life balance, but it's kind of hard because of the industry that Gary's in and I wasn't expecting any miracles. But I guess what I'm trying to say is it's actually been worse since living in Ireland. Like the work-life balance is worse here. Um, the restaurant industry is kind of a hard industry to be in for a family with young kids and Gary working 10 or 12 hour shifts or the shifts just being until like 9 p.m. at night or late. It's just a tough industry. It's tough in general, but I actually feel like it's been worse over here. The restaurant industry is not like that far off from service in the States, but it is overall in general. And I only I'd say like the tiniest bit more laid back. So I think everybody could, it, we're definitely not alone in like the work life balance not being ideal. Um, and there's like, obviously there's not much like you can really do to change it. Like it's not just easy to change careers, but professions and the cost of living is so high. What can you really do? I wish it was, was a little bit better for everybody. It's not even just about myself or, or just us. I won't get into it. There's, there's like, there's a couple other things that I thought would be different with living over here that have wound up to not be the case. So I don't know. And then there's other, there's, you know, a couple other, maybe another aspect or two about just our life in particular that might make me feel the way I do. I got pregnant with Kiva at 22. And to be honest, Gary and I really basically never had any relationship where we weren't parents essentially. So sometimes I feel like, I don't know, maybe I'm yearning for times that like normally couples would have together um and we never get any time to ourselves which is also quite normal i don't mean to be complaining i'm not saying i want to have a whole saturday and saturday evening to ourselves all the time i think i thought just even before being a parent in general maybe there would be the tiniest bit more of occasional times where we we get to just have a little time to ourselves or something which is it's obviously not the end of the world of course i feel like i'm beating around the bush because again i'm just scared about talking on the internet sometimes. I've always had ups and downs since moving here, but maybe more so lately, I just question, was it the right choice for us to move here? I have good days too and stuff, so. It's not really like that simple of a thing. There's gonna be pros and cons to living here or living there. I'm always gonna miss my family. Anyways, I need to stop talking. And I've been talking for 17 minutes. There's no way you will see all of that. I'm looking forward to getting back into the swing of things with them being in school. And I wanna start being more active and staying consistent about even just doing morning walks. But um, I guess I'll see you in the next part of this video.